Hey everybody, welcome to Seminole Hard Rock Tampa. This is Adrian with Learn WPT and we're back on tour and I'm super excited to be here with the man, the one and only defending champion from Seminole Hard Rock Tampa WPT, Mr. Brian Altman. Brian, it's great to see you today. You have had an awesome summer. Congratulations on winning your first up US Open bracelet. I know you were working really hard on that. Um, one of the things as we were working here uh, to put together information for the event and do some background is I saw your video on WPT.com after you won the tournament. And you said something like, I guess this is just a bunch of effort for me to get it. Like you kind of felt like it all of a sudden had all been. Can you describe for me what you mean there? Is it just like uh, you all of a sudden felt like you were playing better poker? First off, thank you so much. Uh, I'm really happy uh, to, to get that, that uh, break the win. Uh, in terms of in terms of momentum, I think when you see someone win a poker tournament or have some results in, in poker, it's not just the actual event that they did well in. It's like all the work leading up to it that kind of builds. Like there's a big foundation of play and energy and effort that you put in and it's translated in that particular event in, in a poker tournament and um, so I think when you see when you see a player that's been playing for a long time win a tournament it's not just the result of them playing well in that particular tournament it's all the work that they've done and kind of built leading up to that. Oh interesting so would you say that's sort of like um, uh, the confidence is slowly building over time? And then you're kind of like leveling up in your confidence, which maybe makes you play better. I think so. I look at it as a continual refinement, sharpening the sword is a phrase that right. I, I like to use or, or pound, pounding the stone. Uh, it's something that poker is evolving. Everyone's poker game should be evolving as you learn new strategies, as you learn new concepts, your game is constantly evolving and I, I think it's just the the continuation of that you're evolving as a player you're growing as a player and and I think when things are going well um confidence confidence is high and and, and for sure uh you maybe you're making better decisions in games awesome fantastic so one thing I noticed about you is that you kind of have a really in tournaments go for it all for nothing mentality it's sort of a, a championship mentality and in that mindset, do you have someone in sports or in any other walk of life that you look at and say, this is someone who has a championship mentality and I want to end it? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm having trouble thinking of, of, of athletes that come to mind, but one, one that I think I could relate to is maybe someone like Cal Ripken Jr. He had the, in baseball, he had the uh, consecutive games played oh, okay. record. As a yeah, you're right. For, yeah, for a long time. So, and I'm not thinking of my own game. I think I'm winning in. So, you, this is your little for a faster act. It is a sound. Is that something you've done before? Have you ever had a over in Simone? Was it back or back at the Bay or one live or online? I won Lucky Hearts, but it wasn't uh, WPT Lucky Hearts back to back. Okay. There's the same event twice, but uh, but not back to back. And I had a chance another time to go back to back in WPTs, but I got a first and a third. Uh, so this is exciting to be able to have the prospect of winning uh, back to back years, but tournament hasn't even started we get a long road ahead so let's not count uh, our uh, chickens before they hatch absolutely that's super important for mindset I know myself I'll be jumping you might have heard some of the voiceover I'll be jumping in one of the satellites that they have here at Seminole Hard Rock Tampa uh, there's still plenty of chances to get to the $3,500 WPT main event which starts tomorrow um, and Saturday and today September 1st uh, 5 p.m. We'll be joining Brad Owen and Andrew Nimi for a WPT mug here at Summit of Hard Rock Tampa. And we'll be sure to have some fun stuff from that. Uh, otherwise, Brian, thank you so much for being here. We're super excited to uh, see you go for uh, your back-to-back -back title. Really proud to have you as part of the team. We're in WPT. Wish you much success. Thanks so much. Okay.